Hello, Captains. This is Kent again, and welcome to the Flight Show. So, uh, it is the day before the 4th of July, and I'm just uh, chilling this evening. And I thought, let's do a flight with our ATR-72, and do a flight from Tahiti to Bora Bora. Nice uh, tropical flight. Um, I don't have a livery, because we don't have a whole lot of liveries, and I don't even know what liveries for out there. I suppose I can look it up on FlightAware. But since there is none that I'm aware of, because I think I found all of them on the internet, um, we're just going to do with a white livery and go ahead and fly this bad boy. So, let's get started. Uh, one of the first things we're going to need to do is so that our battery life doesn't uh, die out. Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, we're going to need to put on our put our uh, motor in hotel mode so that it um, you know basically it basically runs the generator in the motor without starting up the engine so what we will do here is we will one put this into park brakes mode should come up in just a second great and if it's in park brake mode we go ahead now to turn on our parking hydraulic pump. Is it on now? It should say on. It is on. So we can look, and this is up to 3,000, so we know we're good. Then we can put you in start both mode, turn on our right fuel pump. In another video, I accidentally called this the left. I don't know. I'm dyslexic. Sorry about that. And we'll turn on our beacon, and we can go ahead and pop this on. Oh, let's make sure our parking brake is on. And we can go ahead and start up in hotel mode. Should hear it in just a sec. Great, now we don't have to worry about our um, battery running out, so that's good. And we'll put our emergency lights in arm. Now let's go ahead and get us a flight plan. So let's clear that out. And the airport where we are is uh, Tahiti, which is NTAA. And we'll go to flight plan. And our destination is going to be Bora Bora, which is NTTB. There we go. And our alternate, which I actually didn't give it a consideration to, I think what we'll do is we'll make our um, Moria, so NTTM. Yeah, that's what we'll go with for our alternate. Actually, no, I would have had it chosen for me. It's NTTA. I don't know where that is. Okay, so N... Uh, it's clear. NTTA is our alternate. Did I not put that in right? NTTA? No. All right, I'm not going to worry about it. Got to keep it moving. All right, so let's see. Our, uh, let's see. Our takeoff runway is runway four. So we can do a depart. Runway four. And we have a direct flight out in this flight plan, so we don't have to worry about a SID. And uh, so we are going from our airport to HHN. So we can go here, HHN. It's not a very long flight, like 20 mi 40 minutes at best. Uh, there we go. And closest one, so HHN. And then uh, from HHN, we will go to... Uh, and that's it. And we take a turn towards uh, NTTB. Great. So there is our navigation. So then we can say that our arrival runway 
is going to be, let me take a look, it's 29. Uh, so, what are my options? Oh, that's it, 29. Great. Okay, so just a second. Okay, so we've got our flight plan in. We're just going to the VOR. Uh, let's take a look here. So we're just going to the HHN VOR, and then we turn towards the runway heading. So this isn't going to be hard at all. All right. Now that we have in our uh, our approach altitude is going to be uh, 1,600 feet. All right. So let's go ahead and get out of here. So we do these in columns. So the systems that we're going to turn on, I'm going to start here because I'm going to start that engine in a minute, but I'm going to leave that off for now. And then, actually, I want to turn this so that we don't un make our tanks too uneven. So then we will uh, put on our general pumps. And then our window shield heating. Then we come over here, oxygen main supply. so that we can use our FTX is we need to shut off the engine because it'll treat us as our when the engine is on. That is just a little workaround that I found if you're trying to use uh, GC, G, GSX. So we're going to say they don't have animations for this aircraft so there's no point in really just doing the boarding. Uh, so we're just going to say prepare for pushback. And we look at our departure. We're taking off on four, so we're going to want them to do... Uh, we'll just do a straight back. Hey, we don't even have a choice. There we go. Okay. <coughs> so when he gives us the go-ahead, <coughs> we will uh, crank this bad boy up. Hello, Captain. We're ready for pushback. Well, all right. Shouldn't you have some kind of accent? Locking gear. <coughs> you may have just heard me taking a drink. Sorry. All right, you're getting out of the way. Departure check completed. Bypass been inserted. Release parking brakes. Uh huh. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. All right. Starting engine two. not following the strict flight procedures uh, checklist. I get it. I already know. Okay, great. Next, put you in place. Turn on the fuel pump and crank that bad boy up. Hold it. <laughs> Don't mind me. Let's see here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. 
Alright, so our cruising altitude for this flight is supposed to be 8,000 feet. So let's go ahead and put that in. Good. Looks like they're ready to stop. Set parking brakes. And let me start my trusty, while we're at it, our flight crew. Where is it? Oh, I know. Unlocking gear. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Okay, so again, we're taking off on runway four. So we will now engage in taxi. Looks like we're the only ones that fly out of here today. And that's fine. Okay, so having that little uh, extra program by uh, FPSS, F is it? No, it's bring it up. Boom! Ultimate flight crew by. Darn it, where is it? FP. Uh, I'll tell you later. All right. So anyway, as you can see, it adds a nice little touch. Uh, I, I recommend it if is, is, you know if you're not using FS crew because they don't cover all aircraft and you just need something to handle your aircraft that you're doing that doesn't necessarily it's not supported by uh, uh, FS crew then it's a nice little additive for the immersion if you will okay we are reaching the point of us turning around which is right here Have our 
uh, flaps in position. There we go. Now we brake. Okay, landing lights on. Taxi lights off. Already off. Logo, in case it gets dark. You heard the captain said, ready for takeoff. Flaps, flaps 15, ready to go. Full throttle, takeoff. V1 is going to be a little bit around 130. V1, rotate. Positive rate of climb, gear up. Alright, now we are going to take a left hand turn. I, do, I am using uh, the Tahiti scenery. I'll uh, have the uh, scenery in the comments section. So you can look it up. Looks really nice from here. And this is covering this island and also the island of Bora Bora where we're fly, uh, flying to. Covers several of the islands in this chain. Alright, we will now put our engine rating settings to climb. And we will set... Make this uh, 1500, 1600. Excellent. Now, if we follow this heading. We will eventually intercept our course, so we're going to level out. We'll trim our aircraft just before I put on Isle of Pilot. There we go. For now, what I'm going to do is uh, get our heading this direction. Okay. Put on autopilot and LNAV. Okay. We are on our climb. Should be leveling it, leveling out at eight thousand. Looking good. And we can also take this time to admire the scenery as we pass one of the islands. I believe this would be the island of Maria Time. Beautiful. All right, we're leveling out. 
Excellent. Flight plan, looking here, and we're just going to HHN, so I guess we're good. All right, now that we are in cruising altitude, let's take a look at the scenery. And there is an airstrip on this island as well. I uh, have to do, take a flight and find out, you know, what there is about that. Or do a helicopter tour of the island. That actually, ah, oh, there it is, right there. Seems to be a relatively short landing strip, but definitely uh, well suited. This aircraft is well suited for it. All right, so now we can put this in cruise. See, make sure we're in the right one. There we go. Cruise control. Excellent. All right. I will be bringing you back when it's time for descent. Okay, we're going to be taking our next turn very soon as we're uh, flying over the island of Huani or Huani, either way that you pronounce it. And then we're going to take, after we uh, reach the VOR, we're going to go on a heading of 274. It's always looking photorealistic from up here, so I think that's what it might be. Nice. Okay, and you see the airfield for this island right there. And our navs are already taking us on our, uh, you know, projected turn, which is excellent. Let's see, if I put it off of map... Yeah, it's following the path right there. Excellent. So we will be descending pretty soon. We will pass this island and we're heading up there. So, so far, excellent. All right, we will uh, bring you back in just a moment. Okay, we are at top of descent, so we've already set our altitude to 1,600 feet. We can go ahead and come over here and set our descent, we'll say 1,800 feet per minute. And what we will do is we will go over, whoops, I always do that, and bring our throttles back. Now you saw the airplane went through a bit of a turbulence. I have on here uh, real turbulence, Oceana. So their turbulence effects for the atmosphere are more pronounced as you are flying in regions like this. 
where you can have air disturbances because of the uh, mountainous terrain on the islands and what have you, so it's actually kind of cool. Things aren't just always just totally simple. Alright, so we can let a little bit of the speed bleed off. But while we're doing that, we can also just check out the beautiful scenery of, uh, who are we flying by right now? I think I already said it, uh, which island is that? I don't have a name for that island. Oh well. Nice though. See like barrier reef islands right there? Nice. Okay, I will bring you back in a little bit. Okay, we'll be turning onto runway heading in just a moment and descent. Um, or should I say really on final? Wrong terminology, forgive me. But uh, nevertheless, we'll be bringing our landing gear down in just a second. Alright, we are now turning on to, so let's go ahead and uh, lower landing gear. And we can take off autopilot and begin our descent. We're going to bring back our throttles. Should have a three degree. There we go. And then we will bring this down to. Okay, a little bit to the left. We can correct for that. Flaps 15. A little bit more throttle. Oh, it's gonna be a nice gentle touchdown. Island's looking very nice over there. I'm keeping an eye on the heading over here. Alright. Is that an airplane on that runway? Or is that just the markings? I really like they're doing this on purpose. Alright, here we go. A little heavy, but I'll take it. some manual braking. Alright, excellent. And there's where we're pulling
plug in too. Let's see what does uh, ground services have to say. We'll say three. All right. Where y'all at? Okay, flaps up. And uh, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, control levers. Bring out back. There we go. So nice, simple flight in the South Pacific. Now, based on where he is, I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to... What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Just based on where he is, I think I'm supposed to come over this way. So, fine. That's what I'll do. Just based on where he's standing. Okay. Let's see. What's that mean? Alright, I'll take your word for it. Cut engines. Okay. Where he was placed does not match at all where those lines are saying. Wasn't a, <laughs> my rating was I wasn't a very good park. Whatever, dude. <laughs> all right, so we will let out the doors, and we can turn off. There you go. And there he goes off to do his thing. All right, so there you have it. Our nice little flight to Bora Bora from Tahiti. Hope you enjoyed it. I know, riddled with mistakes, but just an opportunity to show off uh, this uh, ATR-72, which I am really have a lot of fun flying. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I please hope that you like and subscribe. Please leave a comment in the box. Uh, everything you do helps the channel, and I love to learn what you think, positive or negative, because I try to learn from everything, and I look forward to seeing you all in the virtual skies.